sound? Okay, now. Yeah, now you're recording. Okay. We're doing lab seven, which is an engine motor lab. And the idea is to have the motor turn very little when you push the start button. So our, uh, our glorious uh, technician has figured that the engineer has hosed him over again and he's going to have to do a little bit of a redesign of the lab before he gets started. So and my color code's going to go black and yellow for runs, for the last two runs. So what he's going to do is he's going to get rid of the M contact altogether because it's useless, put the time delay constant normally, um, close contact in the line going to the uh, M, uh, making the, the uh, start switch that looks like a stop turning that into an actual start switch and then the time delay relay mark T is really should be TD for time delay so that's what he did prior to running any wires and now he's going to run a wire from the master control relay which is to start which is, there. which is already there in red okay now he's going to run a wire from the start button to the time to Delay relay, either two or seven. He's probably going to run it to two. And then from seven, he's going to run a white wire to common. Okay, someone took my little screwdriver. Wendiferous.
to switch to one. from the master control relay or between the master control relay and start to number one on the time delay relay. <clears throat> going from terminal 4 back to start right there to there yeah you don't use 2 2 is over here this is 2 and 7 and then it's 1 and 3 and then you have 8 going in it's 1 and 3 goes over here and then you have 2 is that 4 My bad. Not going from four to backside to start. We're going from four to M. This one. was taking it from here to one. Yeah, but I went from eight here to six. I just pretended there was a note here. Okay, it's still something you can go from here. Yeah, that's true. To one. Yeah, but what works for it. I screwed up. I screwed up. Twice. Twice.
then from third. From third, I go to the model. just ran a common to the overload and I'm going to go from overload to the master solenoid
circuit should be done. <coughs> but I'm routing a restart. Does it work? Well, not right now. Let me unhook this. Uh, I hosed it over. Okay. So I was trying to make a reset, you know, so you could shut the relay off. No, don't need that. The time delay, the relay is going to turn it on. It will? Yeah. That's oh, the whole purpose. Yeah, but the time delay relay is going to come on. It's going to stay on. It won't shut off. Um, uh, no, because no. you let go of the button. And it you let go of the button. Got yeah. it. No, not taking it. So I need uh, my time delay relay. Uh, a DC or AC? Uh, a DC one, preferably. turned on there because this has always got power when this is Something's wrong with our design. No, I, uh, at, uh, all right, yeah, I could help. Uh, oh, there's been. Because, right here. 
because there's always power going here all the time. Yeah, and a, and a stop button. So my start. We're going to add a stop button. Oh, the problem. No, the problem is that your your start button is supposed to be normally open. It is. So it open. is normally open. Yeah, but see, on this, this always has power. Oh. Because it's one and four, not one and three. So this wire is on the wrong side of my start switch. So this, take this wire, wire one, and put it right put there. It right there. Yep. Yeah, it's on the wrong side of the switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to run one to between the start and the time delay relay, not to the other side of the start. Now the technician is pushing a button that is not there. There we go. This is six. Perfect. Perfect. We are thus done with lab number seven. Okay. This is this is the control unit. No, this is your time delay. This is that's the time delay. That's the control. Our schematic was hosed. Yes, our schematic is, is, is definitely is, bad. Okay. Um, two. This is one. Do you want it with the switch turned around? Yes, you have that part right. Okay.